Well, hello, beginner crypto miners. Today we're going to be talking about Cryptex, which is another Windows based crypto miner that you can use to mine coins. Now, it's not as in depth as Unminable is, but you'll get to mine some coins. So, what you want to do is you want to go to cryptex.org and it'll take you to their webpage. First thing you want to do is sign up. I'm already logged in. So after you sign up, you'll get their logging code and everything else that you need. So what you'll end up doing after you sign up is you'll download Cryptix, the actual software. Now, remember, when you go to install this, your virus scanner needs to be turned off. All of these crypto miners will raise a red flag and read a false positive saying it is a virus when it is not. So once you're logged in, it'll take you to your dashboard and you'll scroll down. So you'll go ahead and click download Cryptex and you'll save it to wherever you want to save it to. I've already got it installed or downloaded I should say. Let's go ahead and get this installed. We'll go ahead and go through the setup process. Go ahead and let it install. Once it's done installing, we're going to go ahead and double click it. I'm sorry it's taken forever. Like I said, I'm using an old laptop and I downgraded the memory. Once Cryptex up and running, go ahead and sign in. Once you st start signing in, it's going to install all the other drivers for GPU and CPU mining. So go ahead and let that run through its paces. So now that it's up and running, it did its benchmark and it's going to tell you how much you're going to make per month. We're working in light mode because we're using our CPU. But if you go up in here to settings, 
You can start it with Windows. It says I don't run it with Windows. We're just using a CPU because we don't have a dedicated graphics card. Otherwise, we'll have the option as well. So, we'll go to full mode. Pro mode, I believe, is paid. So we will rerun the benchmark. Okay, so it's going to tell you, you know, Cryptex uses your graphics card and CPU for cryptocurrency generation. So it's going to go through the benchmark, and it's going to perform 11 tests. And this is going to take a bit, so I'll come back around once this is finished. Alright, so we are done with our benchmark. Because we don't have a graphics card, it's going to say it failed. But the CPU tests were passed. So, we'll go ahead and click continue. And what it's going to do now is going to look for the best algorithm to mine with CPU. And with CPU, it's pretty much just going to be XMR. And you can get paid out in whatever coin they're offering. So if you click on full stats, I believe it will take you to their website. Yep. So let's go ahead and go over here to the dashboard. So this is where your dashboard is going to be. And right here you'll have information about the overclocking database for a graphics card. Um, the best gr mining graphics card that you would want to buy if you have the money, and it's got a mining calculator depending on how much you can make for a certain amount of hash rates. So what we'll go up and we'll go ahead and click on hardware. And right now you'll see I have two computers on here. When I first started this I did it with my ROG. But right now I'm using my run-of-the-mill Walmart HP laptop. So we'll go ahead and click that. <coughs> and it will give you details. Now, the algorithm that's going to do is random X, as I said, it, it's going to mine XMR. Now, if your CPU is able to tell you the temperature, it'll tell you the temperature there, and it'll tell you the power waters used. We're running Windows 10. Oh, we have 8 gigs of RAM, I'm sorry. And our processor is a dual core 2.3 gigahertz processor. So those benchmarks I was talking about earlier that it didn't pass are these right here. Now this random X is just for CPUs. Our benchmark is 238 hashes a second. And this random X right here is just for your graphics card. So let's go ahead and head up here and see what our hash rate is. <coughs> I guess it's not going to tell us because we're frozen up. I hate Windows sometimes. But if you go up here to balance, it'll tell you Bitcoin exchange rate. It'll give you all the details. So, right now I've got a penny. It's confirmed. Right now it'll tell you what's available for withdrawal. It'll tell you your pending withdrawal. And it'll give you your total earnings crypto mining. Right now it'll give you a graph of what the going rate exchange is for Bitcoin. So it'll give you complete details. You have your payout history, you have your request payment, and if you go up here, <coughs> if you mine for 24 hours, you get, you know, another little hashtag. Stacking sats. Uh, what you do is your payout, instead of 
it going automatically to Bitcoin, what you can allow is you can reinvest it and you'll get a certain percentage depending on the length of time. Uh, usually it's about a year. Uh, let's say you invest for a whole year, you might get 14% or, you know, there are various different stacking percentages uh, when you invest that way again. But this was all about installing Cryptics, which is another mining software. Well, it seems my screen recorder is taking up all of my memory to try and make this video. But as I said, you'll get your details here when you start mining. So you can click pause, you can pause it for an hour, for three hours, eight hours, or you can pause it until you do a manual restart. But other than that, don't mind my issues. This is another software if you want to get into crypto mining. Tomorrow we'll get into using NiceHash. There's also Kudo Miner. So we'll get into both of those as well. Thanks for watching, guys.